what's going on YouTube X Landscaper here back with another video for you guys today I'm bringing my truck into the dealer to get the vats relearned done so I can use my remote start again and have all my security features working um, hope you enjoyed that little cold start truck hasn't been started in about a week or so and it's 24 degrees out and yeah it's 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 pretty cold but started right up no problem high idle kicked on right away which I don't know necessarily if I like it or not but you can see my oil pressure was pegged out now it's starting to come down a little bit um, it's been running for about a minute now so uh, what I'm also going to be doing is showing you guys how to reflash your truck once you get it tuned with the uh, motor ops tuning uh, there's no DSP 5 switch anymore so you're gonna have to hook up your laptop manually with your MVPI 2 but it's a pretty easy process and I've been getting a couple comments on you know how do you do it etc so I'll uh, walk you guys through that and show you exactly what you got to do it's pretty easy uh, also I want to check out motor Op said that the um, once I get the vats done the battery voltage should drop a little bit as you can see I'm kind of reading a little high on the uh, edge I'm reading 15.3 um, it's not really alarmingly high but it's higher than what it was from the factory and I kind of want to kick it down a little bit so they said after after the vats is done um, it should drop the voltage so we'll see what happens all right what's going on guys uh, back from the dealership the uh, vats rear arm went perfect no problems the uh, tech actually said that the remote start works already. So I didn't even do the uh, the VATS on tune. So that's what I'm going to walk you guys through now on how to um, flash the truck. Because a lot of guys have been asking me on Instagram, how do you do it? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. blah. It's really, really simple. It just takes like about 10 minutes or so because um, I guess it's a large file going into the ECM. So. First, what you're gonna do, you're gonna shut your truck off. All right, then you're gonna plug in your uh, your MPVI2, MVPI2 into your OBD2 under here. <clears throat> then what you're gonna do, well, you got ready to have it connected to your uh, computer. So you're gonna open up, uh, you're gonna open up your files here. And these are all your tunes that you get from, uh, you know, from Motor Ops or whatever tuning company that you're going to use. And with this particular one, see it's VATS off. And you want VATS on. VATS off, VATS on, VATS off, VATS on. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So what you're going to do, I am going to do VATS on because I just had my VATS done. So we're going to double click that. And it's going to bring you right to the, um, the VCM editor. Mind you, your key's off, by the way. So just do all this with the key off first. So I'll let that load up, and it's going to bring you to uh, to this screen here. From here, see this little red thingamajigma with the little circuit? It says right vehicle. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your ignition, turn your ignition on. Don't start the truck. Just let it on. Let it be on. Like I said, from here on out, this process takes um, about 10 or so minutes. So you're going to click uh, this button right there. It says right vehicle. You're going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to bring you to this. And from here, this is your ECM. And if you had the tranny, this is your TCM. So you're going to do right and tire. And you're going to do right and tire for that one. And you're going to click right. And like I said, it's going to take anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes. So it's going to do its thing. The truck's going to make, you know, some weird noise. It's going to go doing its thing. So just, just bear with it.
four, three, two, one, hopefully. We're back to four, back to five, back to four, one. Boom, right completed. All right, so the tunes are in. So you're gonna hit your close button. Just make sure you're disconnected before you shut the key off. That's what I was just double checking. So, all right, so we're gonna shut the key. Boom. Unplug the MVP. Cycle the key once, I guess. And I guess let's start her up and see. Looks pretty good. Everything looks good. All right, so my battery voltage is still a little bit high. It didn't drop down like Motor Ops said it was going to. All right, so just got off the phone with Motor Ops, and he said that 15.4 volts is what the trucks are running. I don't know if I believe them or not. I don't know. They told me the VATS relearn was going to drop the voltage down and bring it back to normal. Now he's saying, oh, yeah, 15.4 volts is what they, all their deleted trucks do. They run a little higher. These trucks are overbuilt, yada, yada, yada. So I don't know if he's jerking me off or whatever the case is. But like I said, it's still in the operating range. So I'm not really too worried about it. I'd like to see it go back down a little bit, you know, to 14.2 where the normal 12 volt charging system should be. Um, but I guess we'll just keep an eye on it and go from there. He said it's perfectly fine. Like I said, I really don't believe him, but you know, it's still in the operating range. So I guess, I don't, I don't know, whatever. If you guys got any comments or you guys know anything more than I do, you know, please let me know because I'm experiencing this, experiencing this just as much as you guys are. Now I'm new to this, and this is a whole new platform. So they said their truck ran with it. I don't know. It is what it is. I guess we'll figure it out as time goes on, but we're going to keep an eye on it. So, all right, I guess let's uh, take it for a quick spin, see what we do. They said I got the um, tow tune on still with the vats on. My remote start does work. Everything works. And uh, I guess we'll take it for a quick drive and see what she sounds like. some pick up and go now that it's tuned and uh, I got my DPF back exhaust I'm still getting 15.9 miles per gallon so pretty good I don't like to beat on my stuff but beast 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 and like I said this is just the, the, the toe tune so with 
with the sport tune and the race tune, this thing's gonna be a freaking animal. But as this thing goes, and you can see there's no smoke, nice and clean. Yeah, I'll do one more pull. All right, guys, I guess that's that's the end of the video. Like I said, it was just a quick little uh, how-to on uh, how to flash your ECM and load up some new tunes. Um, if you guys haven't already, subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. And uh, give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more and if you like the video. Other than that, hope you guys had a happy new year and uh, happy holidays. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later. Thank you.